And today was definitely a no kind of evening across mm -hmm. the area. A lot of folks had to pivot last minute with dinner plans and all that because right. now you don't want to touch the refrigerator or freezer. Leave it closed. And we do have quite a bit of uh, power outages that remain in place. Let's go to it. We've got a lot to talk about as far as our forecast goes. Variably cloudy skies to get your day started tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s. We are expecting mostly sunny conditions later on and temperatures only making it into the 70s tomorrow. So tomorrow a far cry from what we had this afternoon. And here is the radar loop of all of it from 3 to 6 p.m. That line swept in and we had multiple areas where there was some spin that was kind of packed into that line uh, and that caused uh, some enhanced areas of damage. The tornado uh, potential was going up throughout the afternoon. The storm swept in and we do believe that there have been some tornado touchdowns in northeast Ohio as well as straight line wind damage. National Weather Service is going to be sending their survey crews out tomorrow morning to take a look at this and they'll make the official determinations. Everything is just preliminary reports right now, but we have a big swath of those preliminary reports. And as you start to sort through things, there is a new big report to talk about. 86 mile per hour wind gusts clocked in Bratton all just east of downtown Cleveland and that is on an actual buoy station that is near the condos that sit off of Bratton all 86 mile per hour wind gusts. We had an official 79 mile per hour wind gust at Burke Lake for an airport and that is at an automated station that is calibrated by the National Weather Service. So intense wind that came in and it caused a whole lot of power outages. Lena let me know at one point this afternoon nearly 500,000 customers of First Energy without power this afternoon. That's almost a half million of uh, businesses and homes without power. We still have uh, almost a quarter of a million, 207,000 plus uh, businesses and homes without power, about 40% of Cuyahoga County, nearly 70% of Geauga County, over 50% of Lake County, more than a quarter of Ashtabula County, and nearly a quarter of uh, Lorraine County still without power at this hour. We still have some rain that is coming down. These are just light showers, no severe weather for the rest of the night. We are severe clear, uh, and these scattered showers are basically just going to be kind of a gut punch to areas that did have not only the high winds, but we also had some isolated areas of flooding today. We're sitting right around the 70 degree mark. It's going to be a muggy one for us. And what is left of all of these showers will continue to move out in your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. Temperatures in the 60s to get the day started tomorrow. We're going to turn it right around. We get to see some sunshine. It'll be a little less humid. Notably, though, it will be breezy with temperatures in the upper 70s. And the Guardians are going to take Take on a double header tomorrow because tonight's was postponed. Uh, 70s, much less eventful. Got to talk about the tropics because there is plenty that is going on with Tropical Storm Debbie that is still sitting down off of the Carolina coast. And this storm system, as it continues to move to the north, will become a little bit more of a player in our forecast. Not tomorrow. We're looking into Thursday with clouds moving in and then actual rain that may clip into areas closer to the state line. Another frontal bound coming in will help to sweep the storm out to the east of us so we are not expecting a big impact from the storm but we will get clipped by it. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast after tomorrow's beautiful day we'll be back into the mid 80s with that high cloud cover moving in off the storm system. Good news for the weekend though 70s and sunshine.